Hi, this is Tom from the Shed Observatory. I'd like to show you how to set up your Explore Scientific XS100 mount the first time you connect to your computer for visual observing using a planetary program such as Carts to Seal. I'll be using an Atlas EQG tripod with an adapter that will mate it to the mount. The telescope is a WIM Optics 90mm APL. The connection will be ASCOM via a serial cable. So let's talk about the software we will need to download and install. First, we will need the ASCOM platform. So simply Google ASCOM standards, go to download and load the latest version. Once downloaded and you begin the install, you will be prompted with this pop-up. Select PATH so PATH will also be downloaded as we will need this in the later part of the install. Now go to driver downloads, telescope mount, scroll down to explore scientific and click to their site. Scroll down till you find PMC8 system downloads. Click on it. Now continue until you find the software installation kit. Once it's downloaded, you will see this group of files. Continue until you find the ASCOM drivers and download those. From the installation kit, you will find the configuration manager. It's been replaced, but it's good to know about it. Uh, you can uh, run it, connect to your mount, and definitely you can verify uh, your COM port that you're using. The next file would be the configuration utility. So let's start that up. So we want to change a few things with the configuration utility. Uh, we'll select it, get current config, and I want to delete the module and enable the track loss com. We'll do that. Set new configuration. And once it's set, let's just go back and say get configuration to make sure it's still there. So it's uh, going out, interrogating them out. Uh, once this becomes green at the top, which it is, that is our current configuration. And there you can see various information, your Wi-Fi channel and your current firmware release. Let's hit the reboot, show splash. Well, that will interrogate the mount again and give us a lot more information as to how the mount is set up. So you can take a look through there and uh, see how your mount is set up also detect whether Bluetooth is enabled for uh, if you in the future want to use Bluetooth. Now that we have our software downloaded, let's start the ASCOM part of the installation. So we go down here, click start, find our ASCOM platform. We will scroll down till we find the ASCOM path. Click on it and it brings up a pop-up. You can see it's not populated, so let's go to Setup. Another pop-up. We can get rid of the things down below here by clicking Basic. And we we'll need to choose Scope. Click on it. We have a drop-down menu. We'll choose the PMC8 Scope. Click on Properties. And before we found out, we were using COM5. So we make sure enable serial port is on, uh, proper mount, COM5, and we'll select. Also, we can just check wireless port. Make sure that's set to WROOM-02 for future use. So we're already set to go. Let's hit OK. 
OK again, and connect. Now we're actually connecting our scope, excuse me, we're connecting our mount to ASCOM POTH. So that's the only thing it's going to talk to the, the mount is ASCOM POTH. We want to set park, uh, assuming we have already uh, set our manually set our park position and we want to make sure that motion controls is enabled, checked. We'll click OK. That will bring up another back to our pop-up window and you see everything is enabled and we are connected. Our next step is to select our planetarium program and connect it to the mount via POTH. So we're using carts to seal. We'll click on telescope to make sure it's connecting via ASCOM, which it is. Then we'll select telescope, connect telescope. Select, brings down our drop down menu. This time we will select Path Hub. Remember, we are only talking to the mount via Path Hub, not directly. Click OK and connect. And now it is connected. We're going to unpark the scope, hide this, and now we're just randomly going to pick a star and we are going to slew to that star. So you can see here the mount is slewing and the planetarium program is also tracking the mount to that particular star we happen to select. Now that the mount has slewed to that star, it would be great to be able to fine tune to position that star. Well, we can do that with a thing called ASCOM Pad. So Google ASCOM Pad, download it, install it, and when you bring it up, you will get a screen that looks like this. So this is going to allow us to use a gamepad controller to fine tune the mount. So while ASCOM pad is up, select devices and we'll only be using it for gamepad, nothing else that's shown here, and go to assign buttons. Now each Gamepad controller is going to be slightly different, so my controller, I'm just using the left joystick for slewing, and I picked four buttons that I have assigned to four different rates, which allow me to slew at different speeds. So once you have that set up for your particular gamepad controller, apply the changes, and now we want to connect the ASCOM pad to POTH. So we come down to Mount, Setup, and here is where you can see I selected four slew rates for my four buttons. So I have those going from real slow to real fast. And once that is done, you apply changes and go back to uh, Select. And here we again, we're going to select Path Hub. Everything will talk through Path Hub. Select OK. And now, when we take our gamepad controller, we can be looking through the eyepiece and take our gamepad wireless controller and simply move it around, either very slow or very fast, to position our star directly in the center. Also, you can go back to the carts to seal and hit sync and now that star will be synced for future use during this session. Now that we're finished with this session we can go back to taskbar, click on ask on pad, exit out of it, go to our planetarium program and we probably want to park the scope so we'll park it, wait for the scope to uh, totally park back to the home position. 
once that occurs, we can then disconnect our planetarium program. It's now unparked. We'll disconnect that. We can close down the planetarium program, go back to ASCOM, and disconnect our scope, and we're all finished. So I hope this was helpful to you. Clear skies.